Hi, this is Stacy back with Yellow Cottage Soapery, and I'm going to be making lavender, luxury lavender soap. Um, I already have all of my stuff in here ready to blend, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'm actually making, um, I'm going to try to do a circling Taiwan, a modified circling Taiwan swirl. Wait till you see the mold that I rigged up. I don't have dividers for this mold, so I had to try to figure something out. We'll see if it works. Here's my awesome mold. Um, I was going to try to free pour it, but then I thought, well, at least if I have a little something, it might help me to keep them a little bit, the lines a little more straight. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we will see. Okay. I'm going to get started with the darker purple. And I can already see it's going into the center a little bit, so... I should have started in the center. a little bit like my white has 
when I was pouring, it looked like it might have started to rice a little bit. It looks smooth now, but I don't know, that was strange. So I had my first yoga class tonight and I've never gone to yoga. I've never even watched a yoga video or anything like that. I've seen people in like plate just do pose poses or whatever. Um, but I went with my brother-in-law and a friend. Um, and I loved every minute of it. And it felt so good to just go and get my mind, you know, off of all of the stuff I have going on and to get done. And the atmosphere was really relaxing. There was only five of us there. Um, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, my brother-in-law did warn me because he had gone to this class and said, yes, it's, you know... It's not easy, but the instructor was great, um, and she just was really great and really patient. She knew I had never done yoga before, so um, I'm sore. I came home really, t it's an hour and 15 minute class, but I came home really just sore and I think tomorrow I'm definitely going to feel it but I can see where people would get so into that I wish I had more white I don't know why I have less white that's weird um because it's just you know the music and the it's just like you feel like you get away from stress And a lot of the poses, I was like, I can't, I can't do that. There's no way I can do that. And I have really long legs, so I kept saying that was my excuse. Is I had long legs. You know, I can't touch my toes, like, all the way because I, I have long legs. Um, but my, um, I don't know. It was just really fun. And I know she's going to be doing a meditation class, which I had asked about. And I'm really interested in doing that, trying that. I've never done it. Um, but I am a person that deals with anxiety, and I have for a long time. I'm not, you know, ashamed of it or ashamed to talk about it or anything like that. I don't take medication for it at all. Um, <clears throat> I just try to, I don't know, get through it, I guess. But at a doctor's appointment, um... Sorry. A couple of months ago that I went to, I was told I have high blood pressure. And it was high the time before that as well, but I had told her, you know, I was in a rush to get to the appointment, and that was probably the reason. And they were going to recheck it before I left. They did not. However, I'm a nurse, so I have, um, I'm able to check it here at home. And I got home, and it was still high. And my next appointment, I went, and it was even higher. And then I was there relaxing at the office for a little bit, you know, and then she said, we'll recheck it. It was higher even after I was relaxing. So, I just turned 40 this year, and I'm like, you know, I'm too young to have blood pressure issues, but I'm on blood pressure medication now. Um, so I'm really hoping that the yoga helps me to, I guess, channel any anxiety or stress that I have or just learn new ways because I, I know that I probably have adult ADD too because I have a hard time staying focused on one thing for a period of time. I've got like, I'll start doing one project around the house and then before I know it, even if it's something simple like folding laundry. Before I know it, I'm half the laundry half folded and I'm in emptying the dishwasher. You know, it's just my brain 
it feels like it works over time, all the time. And it's been like that for a long time. It's not anything new with me. I just, and when I was young, I was really, like I grew up, I was really, really skinny and my metabolism was really fast. Um, I was very much like just busy all the time. Sorry, I'm just scraping this bowl like crazy, but I'm into my talking. Um, so I bought a book, like a, um, an adult coloring book. I watched a video that um, Katie from Royalty Soaps did, and it was this book called The Secret Garden, I think is the name. And it is exactly that, an adult coloring book, but it's got very fine detail in it, and I love anything gardeny or flowers or anything like that. And so I watched her video and I thought, you know what? The only thing I do besides you know, take care of my house and my kids and my husband, my, you know, all that mom stuff and wife stuff. Um, the other thing I do is focus on my business, which is obviously very important to me and to my family. But what do I do, like, when it's just something, you know, because I always feel guilty to doing anything else, even if I want to do Sudoku, which I always tell myself, I make myself do it so that I um, keep my brain active. I don't want to end up with, you know, dementia or Alzheimer's or something. And, and those types of th games and stuff are good for, you know, to keep your memory or your um, brain active. So I always say, I've got to do Sudoku. I can't wrap soap, you know, or I feel like I always got to, ha like, make myself feel okay about not doing something for the business all the time. And so, I got that coloring book probably th three weeks ago and I have not even touched it yet. I got all the stuff I wanted to use to color, like um, some colored pencils and some cool, just some cool stuff, art stuff from AC Moore. So, right now I am so behind in wrapping soap that I feel like, how am I going to do that? But I thought, you know what? If I take an hour and 15 minutes to go to yoga, that's something for me. Why can't I take two hours at home and just set aside, you know, two hours for me to do something like that for myself? So I thought, you know what? My health kind of depends on it. And so that's my plan. But. I'm going to be very sore tomorrow. I know that I'm going to be sore tomorrow. But that's that's good. That means I did something. Let me pound this down and I will be right back. Okay, this is supposed to be like three completely divided lines. As you can see, it is not even close. But that's fine. I'm not... You would think I would be a perfectionist with all of my anxiety and all that, but I'm really... About some things. Most things I'm not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to first do the Taiwan Swirl. With this technique, you stick it all the way in the bottom instead of just the top. Um, I had a couple air bubbles, though. Okay, you stick it in the top and you just go back and forth. Maybe I should do it a little tighter, I think. Okay, then the deal with this, the circling part, you go around like this. I 
I don't know how many times, I guess just however many times you feel like it. Obviously the more you do it, the more swirlies you're going to get. Okay. All right, I'm going to clean this up and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit of... Um, whoa! These are my new puffer bottles from Be Scented. And I didn't think it was going to come out that fast. This is weird, hard to get used to. Okay, I will post the cutting video hopefully at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. I'm going to be unmolding my luxury, uh, lavender luxury soap and I've had a couple people ask me how I do it in this mold so I was just going to quick show you. In the bottom of the mold there's a couple of different um, holes. And you get these um, wooden pe uh, holes that you stick in each hole. There's two. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, make sure I'm in the camera. Am I in the camera? Move over a little bit. Okay. Once you're in the holes, um, it just slides right off for me. In the beginning, it didn't. Um, the mold has gotten easier to use the more I've used it. It's easy as that and there is a this comes in the bottom on this piece because it was was hard to get off but I've changed my recipe a little bit so that it's harder and comes off easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a few bars. Modified circling Taiwan swirl. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cut it a different way. N normally I would do bars. Let's see. Let me grab my measuring. Okay, this is 16, so I'm going to cut it like every four inches. Okay. I'll just do one. We're having terrible thunderstorm here. Seems like it's let up a little bit, but it's really, really loud. Okay, so then what you do, I believe, is cut this in half. I hope if I should use my cutter, if it would be more straight. Let me try that real quick. And then I believe you cut this in half. Why doesn't this look right? cutting it correctly. Let me finish this one. 
And then I'm going to look up and see if I'm cutting it correctly. I mean, even if I'm not, the it's still pretty. That's the top. So I'm going to pause the video and I will be back in just a second. Okay, I watched a video um, on Soaping 101 to just double check that I was cutting them correctly and um, I am cutting them correctly, I believe. Let me try turning this way. Let's see if I do that. I think what it is is my swirls um, weren't tight enough together on the top. So it doesn't really show much of a variation on the inside. Then I guess these need to be closer together. But I think it still looks pretty. I like it. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. That's so loud. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and finish cutting the rest off camera. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.